Yeah, we're a little different around here. I ditched the lab coat. I never, never wore one of them. Man, it is good to see all your smiling faces. These things are important for aligning your teeth. Pretty much try to respond to most of the questions. Man, this is gonna be the best. You need to actually call up the winners of the Summer Smile Giveaway. Your story was so awesome and touched my heart and our team's heart that we're still gonna fly out to Springfield and transform your smile. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. So what's today looking like? Today's gonna be a great day. Because it's a great day to have a great day, right? Come on. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's take a look at the schedule here. So we have a morning meeting coming up here in just a second. Make sure we got our heads right for um, the patients that we're gonna see today. Oh, I gotta get the, there you go, product placement. Nice. Oh, this is a really cool patient. The first one, he, a uh, truck driver that uh, really had kind of, a, kind of a mess going on. Took out his upper teeth and then gave him a nice immediate denture in the upper, solid teeth in the lower. Fix that up. The guy's grinning ear to ear. Not you're on your maybe your typical. You would think, hey, this guy really cares about fixing his smile. You know, our team treats everybody as they want to have the best, and so that that's a good example of what that ends up turning into for um, changing a patient's life. So pretty cool. This is where we have all of our morning meetings, and the whole team's excited to be on camera today. I can tell you that. They always are. Yeah. Oh no. Our, yeah. Thing. Did you see the uh, the Halloween scare video that I did no, a couple I years ago? Seen. So I went around and just. Like, like a little child, because I kind of am sometimes, but um, scared every one of the, I think I missed like, couldn't get one. Oh. 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 Why would you miss me, guy? You have to be committed to it. Ah. You did it. <laughs> Don't. Ah. <laughs> All right, so good morning. Let's get over our schedule and kind of figure out what we're doing today. How many deliveries today? It looks like three Invisalign deliveries. All right, Ginger, you have the floor. Lecture us over the refrigerator. All right, so what do we have for innovative moments? Jordan did an amazing job. She left an amazing review yesterday. You know, way more exciting than talking about how much revenue we got yesterday. Because I don't even, I honestly don't even know. This is our future. Reviews, reputation, how we treat people. It's not just our future, it's our, it's our present, kind of the way we feel successful and fulfilled. But uh, from the moment I stepped in through the door, uh, front door at the office, I knew this place was going to be unlike any other dental office I'd been to. Danica was so kind and personable. Dr. Jordan saw me and took time before my exam to check. Also, while in the waiting room, I observed a new mama come in for her appointment. One of the ladies at the front desk snuggled and loved on the newborn while mama was in her appointment. That was going above and beyond. How cool is that? It's a side note, right? You were just being genuinely caring for people. You have another person that observes. People are really watching. Anything else before we pray for our day? Dear Heavenly Father, thanks so much for this day. We thank you for the opportunity that we have ahead of us to help people smile and encourage them and be a light in the day. Sorry. How was your movie last night? It was really good. We do what's, what's called virtual consults, and we have a lot of patients that want to try to travel from all over the U.S. to see us, um, and so what we do is we have them send records um, then we go ahead and do kind of an initial discussion with them about possible treatments. Uh, then we prepare a treatment plan for them and do a virtual consultation with them. So have a discussion about, um, you know, with a, either through Skype or FaceTime. Um, and then we set up the, tra the travel for them so they can come here and make sure it's really nice and easy for their travel and their experience. Do whatever we can to transform their smile and then obviously help them get back home. So that's what I'm gonna go do now is gonna look over some records for uh, these patients kind of prepare for the virtual consultation that we'll have for them next week. So. All right, I'll be back. They said they just feel like they're thick, yeah. you know, and she like how it fills with her tongue. <clears throat> well, they the are thick. <laughs> yeah. They didn't help by making the veneers this thick and these line angles this uh, kind of aggressive, especially for a female. So I think that that's probably where they are. She doesn't love it. The facility we're building though is going to be exciting. It's got, um, it's going to feel like you're at a spa or resort rather than like a vacation. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be really different. So, pretty excited to build that. Let's see. As a, as a, as a builder, I'm always fascinated. Phase two is going to be a educational facility here on the second floor and a, a fitness center on the lower level. So that's 32,000 square feet. Dental space is like, dental chairs and ops is around 20. Um, and then this would be an additional about 10 to 12,000 square feet here. All right, All right, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, see you in a bit. Let's get together. Okay. Yeah. Main thing, I can smile again. Yeah, man, you look great. I can get out the truck. Yeah. That's right, that's right. <laughs> well, 
Good to see you, man. Likewise. Yeah. Have a great day, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Every once in a while, we do, uh, I walk around and tease him with a camera, but uh, yeah, so it's. He tells you that he's not going to show the bloopers, but he does. Yeah. <laughs> the bloopers are the best, right? Because what they do is they immediately show, hey, that's a real person. And that's really what the social media aspect, creating content is all about. It's a way to have people really connect with you. We have people travel to see us. I know we have a lot of patients that come in to see us. And the reason they do that is because they almost feel like they've met you before they come in. And when you're talking about a, uh, a typical experience that is very intimidating, uh, it's super helpful for them. And you can all kind of put ourselves in, in their shoes and go, gosh, what, what I feel more comfortable about watching 10 videos of the dentist I'm gonna go see and kind of connecting with who they are as a person and what they think about how to help people. Um, or would I go to the guy, I have no clue what they're like and it's kind of a gamble. If you really want to be relevant in today's you know, social market and, and social media growth, um, it's something you just got to do, even if it's uncomfortable. We met some of your family, right? We did, yeah, so, two daughters and the wife. Yeah, Bella yeah. yesterday and then your two, yeah, your two kids. Yeah, Man, cool. Yeah. You sit them in first to make sure it was safe, right? Yeah, I want to see if they made it out. Yeah, <laughs> all right. What do you like to do for fun? You got any hobbies? Yeah, we, or? Uh, we boat fish. Boat, yeah, yeah get on. Safe traveling. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Steve, what's up? So Steve, I'll let you see this x-ray. I had that crown done about six months ago. Okay. So what it means is your lower jaw is kind of sitting a little farther forward. So when do patients come in here? And, well, like, so we use this room when our patients have um, smile design. So when they're doing the digital smile design, we're making all of their veneers in one visit. It's one of the uh, you know huge benefits of being able to do same day uh, porcelain dentistry is now we can try to create a unique experience around getting your smile transformed. All right, let's take a look here. I'm gonna pull up the um, implant size and everything for me. It looks really healthy and it's stable. Oh my, calling me out on it. Yeah. Um, and he FaceTime is what he wants okay. to do. Okay, got his number and everything? Uh, yes. Alright. 1741. 1741. Got it. Uh huh. Switch it. Yeah, it's implant supported. Uh, denture. Tim. Hello. Nice hey, to meet you, sir. Me too. Hey, so you're out in in Minnesota? No, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Not even close. Pennsylvania. <laughs> so what do you do out there? Okay, cool. Man, I'm excited to help you. I was looking at your photos and uh Got a, got a pretty good understanding of what's going on. Mostly it looks just like you got tooth wear that's ground your teeth flat. I mean, it's hard to, yeah. I've, not, I've not seen teeth ground that flat before. So what questions do you have for me about the treatment? I know Heather's had a chance to talk to you quite a bit, but I mean, it, it, it's all gonna be digitally designed in our, in our CEREC machine, which allows us to kind of digitally plan this, make sure everything looks right, make sure our bite's correct. We're gonna do Thursday, Friday, and then a Monday. Yes, yeah. that's, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's great. Having you go over the weekend, maybe set you up with a couple of great movies to go to. We have a good theater here you can go to and just relax and then see you Monday and make any final adjustments to the bite and help you out there. I can't wait to help you, man. I really appreciate you trusting us to do this and we're gonna make sure that you leave a, a smiling dude. <laughs> okay, all right, nice to meet you, Tim. Thanks. Bye-bye. Gotta love it. That's gonna be cool. All right. So you can probably see this here if you want to catch, catch it on camera. I don't know if you can, but, you know, checking the fit of these guides. That everything is dead on. So that way we know we can trust it. She bangs, she bangs. She moves, she moves. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. Like we say, this is kind of like a party without the fun or the alcohol, okay? Okay. So here we're just going down where it's nice and flush with our guide. And got a 20, looks like we topped out at like a 32 max torque on that, so that's awesome. Not bad for my first time, man. I'm gonna get a hang of this. <laughs> oh, really? 
real big hair kit. In and out. You can see those, yeah. Yeah, it's three, and I, I think you can get them into six, seven, eight minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, guided dentistry is the way it's at, man. When you think of the name Innovative Dental, you know, you obviously think of uh, stuff you can plug in. Those, those things are not going to be your competitive advantage. While they might be a little bit different than maybe the bulk of dentistry, there's a lot of people that have all of those technologies within their practice. So the competitive advantage that an office has with those technologies is really always the people and how they interact with them and how they help their patients realize the benefit. And so in our practice, we spend a ton of focus on culture, how we want to develop leaders, and how we want our, our team to really feel the value of understanding why they come to change people's lives with a smile and the impact that they have um, on doing uh, this type of dentistry. I think it was Paul Homley had a great advice, you know, to do fillings and crowns, you need a dentist. To do comprehensive care like veneers, full mouth, implant dentistry, you need a team. And so for our practice, that really rings true because we want to create and develop people that connect on a totally different level with our patients and help the dentist and the team deliver this high level of care. They're looking for continuity and confidence. And so when your team loves what you do, connects with why you do it, and they're able to deliver a confident, yes, you're gonna love this, the team does great work, the doctor stands behind it, you're gonna have amazing treatment here. Um, that really is the power of kind of that synergy of a team working in dentistry. And that ultimately is innovation. And so throughout that, we've thought, how do we reinvent the, the patient experience? And when you have that initial mindset, reinventing the, the patient experience is like natural, right? It's something you're always looking for ways to think outside the box. And we have a little saying here called, you know, get, out, get outside of the box and burn it. It's so easy to fall back into what your industry is comfortable doing. The box is comfortable. Doing things that are normal, they're, they're easy. Doing things that are unique, different, outside of the box, they're, they're challenging, they're awkward sometimes, they're a little bit uh, scary, but they're going to really make a giant difference in what your patients see. They're gonna create an authentic environment where they go, people here really care about me. I don't think anything we do is mind-blowing. I think the mentality behind the people that are delivering it is what is really industry changing. The, the amazing thing about Innovative Dental is a team fully focused on how do we reinvent the patient experience. We're comfortable being uncomfortable and we wanna see what kind of fun we can have uh, breaking the mold that dentistry has kind of created for itself.